So at this point, you guys know we're in the midst of a massive earnings week. And last night, I covered a bunch of companies that were reporting earnings this week. And I asked you guys, do you want a part two? And a lot of you guys said yes. So here we are for the part two because there's so many companies to talk about. There's so many earnings this week. So here we are. We're going to break down a bunch more companies, charts, stocks, all that good stuff. So if you all find value, hit that like button. Feel free to subscribe. And of course, don't forget to get up to 15 stocks for Moomoo using that link down below. Once you open up an account, you get one free share of stock. If you deposit at least 100 bucks, you get four more stocks totaling five stocks. And if you deposit at least a thousand bucks, guys, you get another 10 stocks totaling 15 free stocks. And of course, it also helps out the channel. I appreciate you guys as always. And with that being said, cheers. And don't forget to stay hydrated, by the way. Get that water, guys. And with that being said, let's dive right into the video. So like I said yesterday, guys, we talked about a lot of companies reporting earnings. I think we talked about, actually, I'll pull the list up right here. I have it right here in my notes. Bear with me, guys. We talked about Microsoft, Google, Meta, Amazon, UPS, Chipotle, which I got to get me some Chipotle, guys. I'm kind of craving Chipotle right now. We talked about Visa and Face Snapchat and Roku. So today we have seven more companies to break down with the first one being Spotify. Let me pull it up and show you guys Spotify's ticker symbol SPOT, which mind you guys today, we got news that Tucker Carlson has left Fox, which is a, is a huge thing. And Don Lemon got fired by CNN. So we might be seeing a big move out of one of these companies, probably not Spotify, but maybe a company like, um, uh, what, what the heck is it called? Rumble might sign somebody like a Tucker Carlson. Maybe they'll sign, uh, or maybe, maybe he'll just go to YouTube or go to one of these other platforms. This is going to be interesting. I don't know, but for some reason I saw Spotify and I just thought of that because that is breaking news at the time that I'm making this video. So either way, Spotify today on the day is down roughly 1.7%. And, and I almost forgot the market closed three minutes ago. So it closed down 1.7% on the day and they're doing earnings or reporting earnings, I believe on Wednesday. Let me see here though, to double check. Yeah. On the 25th, actually, no, that's tomorrow. That's Tuesday in the pre-market. So when you guys wake up tomorrow, you're going to see Spotify's earnings and they're looking to do EPS of negative 94 cents. So they're going to lose money on the quarter, which you guys can see they've been losing money in recent quarters. You can't see this number right here, but they lost 97 cents Two quarters ago, last quarter they lost a dollar fifty-one, and now it seems like the loss is narrowing, which is good to ninety-four cents on revenue of three point four two billion dollars, which is up twenty-six percent year over year. Which, guys, that is pretty good revenue growth, and this stock has been just ripping off the lows from sixty-nine bucks all the way to one hundred thirty-one dollars. That's a big move. We're talking ninety percent in the past roughly half a year. And I was an avid user of Apple Music, right? I have an iPhone, you know, I'm a big Apple guy, but I tried Spotify and I was like, why am I paying for Spotify? Because my fiance has the uh, the family plan. Why am I paying for Apple Music and I'm on this Spotify? Might as well just cancel Apple Music and just go full, uh, full on Spotify. And I like Spotify, believe it or not, more than Apple Music. So that's just my opinion. I'm one person. I mean, there's, <laughs> there, there's billions of people on this planet, but just my opinion, I like Spotify more than Apple Music and they lost a customer and that's how business works. I mean, at the end of the day, guys, that's how it works. There's competition and Spotify, they're going to be doing very well up 26% year over year on, uh, on revenue. And it makes sense that they're better than Apple. I mean, think about it, guys. Apple has so many different segments within the business, whereas Spotify, this is their main thing. So, I mean, okay, it makes sense they're doing better than Apple, but there's still a lot of people that swear by Apple Music. Apple Music is great. I still like it, but I just figured, why am I paying for two when I could just use one and just save that whatever per month, which was like 15 bucks a month. Why not just cancel it if I'm not really even using it, right? Or I was using it, but I want I wanted to try Spotify because my fiance had the plan. And either way, you, you guys know what I mean. Now I'm on Spotify and I like it more than Apple Music. So yeah, keep your eyes out on Spotify for tomorrow in the pre-market. That's going to be a big one to watch. And today we actually had Coca-Cola report, which I can pull it up quickly and see what they did, even though I wasn't going to talk about it in this video video. It's all good, guys. Let's take a look at what Coca-Cola ended up doing. They reported earnings this morning. They did 68 cents, which beat the 64 cent estimate. That's good. And they beat on sales 11 billion versus 10.8 billion estimated. So nice double beat there for Coca-Cola. And it looks like here they still see organic revenue growth of 7-8% for 2023, which is good. So this stock popped in the morning, I believe. Then it ended up going down 
0.1% on the day. Yeah, popped about, let's see, 1.6%. Now it's at 64 bucks. It is down roughly uh, almost 2% from that pre-market high. And we also had Coca, or not Coca-Cola, Pepsi. I'm mixing up these names, guys. Pepsi's reporting, not today, but tomorrow, guys. They're reporting, I believe, actually, maybe on Wednesday. Um, let me see, guys. Hold on a second. Where is it here? 25th. So that's tomorrow morning, same day as Spotify. So Pepsi's looking to do EPS of a dollar. $1.39 on revenue of $17.22 billion, up 6%, not too bad, 6.3 actually, year over year. And mind you, these, uh, these are all estimates. We don't know exactly what they're going to do, but that's the estimate right now for Pepsi. And let me actually get some water, guys. Cheers, by the way. Uh, I'm starting to choke on my words. Hold up. So personally, guys, I'm going to wait and see what Pepsi's numbers are tomorrow morning before I end up trading it, and uh, we'll see what the price action is looking like. Let me actually pull up my phone here. I think there, were, uh, there was another company company that reported today and I'm forgetting exactly what it is. What's today guys? Monday. So we had First Republic Bank. That's right. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see and I'm glad I waited till the market's closed so I could actually cover this company in this video very quickly. So I'm not sure if they reported yet or what, but FRC, which you guys know is a regional bank that's gotten destroyed since the whole regional banking crisis started back in March. This stock went up 12% on the day after being down from 145 bucks to $11 over the past couple of weeks. That was down 90%. So today we bounced 12% and well, look at that guys after the bell. Holy smokes. This thing is getting destroyed and we're not going to be able to cover everything in this video because I do have to keep it more concise, but look, it is currently down 15% from the peak, actually 18% from that uh, post market high. It's down roughly 14% from where it closed. This can't be good. Oh my God, this can't be good. So they ended up doing a dollar 23 in EPS, which actually beat the 85 cent estimate. All right, not too bad there. And sales ended up coming in at 12 or rather 1.2 billion. Read that wrong. 1.2 billion versus the 1.15 billion estimated. So they beat EPS, they beat on sales. And I mean, again, we can't really dive too deep into it and see why the stock's collapsing, but there's got to be a reason here why the stock is collapsing. So First Republic Bank says with closure of several banks in March, we experienced unprecedented deposit outflows. No kidding. And it says total deposits as of March 9th were down 1.7% from year end, but that was as of March 9th. I would love to see what it is as of now, probably way worse. And it looks like here bank expects to reduce its workforce by approximately 20 to 25 percent in Q2. That's, you know, coming up here. Right. And it looks like here bank year over year loans were 173 billion up 22 percent year over year. Not bad. And it says here, OK, the shares are shrinking, uh, shrinking, sinking more than 10 percent after earnings. So, yeah, we, we don't know exactly why it's selling off. It could just be. Market volatility. We'll see what actually comes from the earnings call, which right now, guys, it's only 410. So, I mean, earnings call, it will be coming out here soon. So, we'll see how it's actually reacting the stock tomorrow. So, make sure to subscribe so you guys actually see that. So, that is FRC. And we have BA this week, which is, of course, Boeing, guys. They're reporting, I believe, on Thursday or Wednesday. Let me double check here for you all. They're on the 26th, which is on Wednesday before the bell. And Boeing, guys, talk about, you know, just choppiness and sideways trading. We've been seeing that pretty much uh, for a good amount of this year, if not all this year. Yeah, look, we've been trading between roughly 220 as resistance, roughly, with support being at about 195 you know, 197 bucks. You guys see that here. And recently in the past couple of weeks, we've been putting in lower high after lower high after lower high. You guys see that here pretty much uh, since the beginning of April 2023, the beginning of this month, right? So lower highs are being made. Now it looks like we're slowly falling under the moving averages, but we also have these lower or rather higher lows being made at the same time. You guys see that here. So what direction are we going to pick? Again, earnings on Wednesday morning, they're looking to do EPS of negative $1.00 four on revenue of 17 and a half billion up 25 percent let's see how that actually ends up panning out what direction we pick whether we dump down to 195 which we've tested many times here or we start going to 215 time will tell we shall see guys my alerts at 225 and i'm going to wait and see if that tests as well so we have boeing we also have mastercard which you guys probably remember i talked about visa in the last video which you, which you should definitely go check out after this video mastercard here guys they're reporting earnings later this week i believe on thursday um yeah thursday before the bell 
bell. So a lot of these are pretty much all these are before the bell so far, at least. MasterCard's looking to do EPS of $2.71 on revenue of $5.64 billion. That would be up roughly 10%, a little bit less year over year. Not bad. And you guys can see we had an inverse head and shoulders play out on MasterCard. You guys see that? We have the left shoulder here, the head's right here, the right shoulder is right here. Now it seems like we're also in the in the middle of, or not even in the middle of, but we're in, in general, an ascending triangle. Do you guys not see that? Higher lows being made, but but we have resistance at about 380. Let's see what direction we end up picking. If we take 380 out, guys, this could end up breaking out like no other, and I believe the all-time high is somewhere in the four hundreds i believe let me actually check that out now i'm going to set my alert at 381 we can see the actual all-time high i believe is somewhere 400s yeah 401 maybe maybe it's higher than that or no uh no it's not it's 401 so we could be going to all-time highs in no time if this ascending triangle plays out after earnings maybe we get some sort of breakout we shall see guys so that's mastercard and before we continue on if you have not gone up to 15 stocks yet for mumu use that link down below open up an account you get one free share of stock if you deposit at least 100 bucks you get four more stocks totaling five and if you deposit at least a thousand bucks onto the platform guys you get another 10 stocks totaling 15 free stocks and of course it helps out the channel i appreciate you guys as always use that link down below and now let's continue on with the next stock which is Pinterest guys ticker symbol P-I-N-S Pinterest today went up 0.9% nothing crazy but they're also reporting earnings later this week on Thursday after the bell so there's the first company that's reporting after the bell and you guys know Pinterest has been doing fairly well throughout this year and actually no has it where the heck did it start the year at? This thing's been so choppy. Yeah, it started the year at about 24-ish dollars. Now it's at, what, 27.60? So it is up about 11% throughout the year. And it is trading above the 180 SMA on the four-hour chart here at a fairly oversold position. So maybe we do get buyers to come in here at about the 180 SMA. Maybe we get some sort of bounce off that. Time will tell, guys. That also held us support back in the end of March. Then we had a nice bounce off that uh, at that point. So... Pinterest is on the top of the watch list for sure. EPS two cents is the projected estimate, or it is the estimate on revenue of $592 million. That would be up 3.1% year over year. So I would say as long as we hold this moving average here, it's in play. But the second we take out, let's say 2675, 2650, that would be bad. That'd be a change in trend. Bears would be in the uh, in the advantage at that point, and I would not like it. So I'm going to set my alert mark is that we're below 26.50, and we'll see where it goes from that point. Or you know, I'll, I'll put another one at let's say uh, maybe 28 bucks to see if it starts breaking out to the upside. So the next one is American Airlines ticker symbol AAL, which is actually the second to last stock. I appreciate you all if you stuck to the end of the video. You guys are awesome. AAL here went down 0.6 percent on the day, and this thing has been down trend for months. I mean, I'm not surprised. Are you surprised? Look at this. Lower highs, uh, lower lows, all that good stuff, right? And now it looks like we're failing at the 50 SMA. We have been the last couple of days. So if American Airlines fails to break out of that moving average. So let's see what direction we end up picking, guys. I mean, we have earnings coming up here in about two days, right, on the 27th. Okay, that's, uh, what, what is that, Thursday morning? So three days from now, they're reporting. They're looking to do $0.05 cents EPS on revenue of $12.21 billion, up 37% year over year. Is that going to be enough, that revenue growth year over year, to, to, to start pushing the stock past the moving averages? I don't know. Time will tell. But at this point, guys, what we have is, again, lower high is being made into a key support at about 12 to 12.50. I mean, you guys can see back in, you know, September heading into October, we held 12, 12.50. We also held here in the middle of December heading into January. And now we're starting to head to that point as well. So we arguably also have a descending triangle here, which is not the most bullish pattern, but I'll set some alerts anyway at $14. I'll put another one at $15 for the future because guys, I set alerts not just for the next day or two, but for whenever the heck the alert is triggered. It might be a day or two from now, or it might be a month or two from now. I don't know, but either way, if American Airlines starts taking 14 out, we start going 15 plus, 
We start breaking this trend. We start breaking the moving averages. If that happens, that'd be a spot where I would consider going along. And we're not there yet. So I'm being patient, very patient with AAL. And the last stock, guys, is ExxonMobil because, like I said yesterday, we have a lot of energy companies reporting as well this week. I think Chevron is. Um, I, should, I think Chevron's on Friday. Yeah, this one went up on the day, 1.4%. And uh, ExxonMobil ended up going up almost 2%. So they're both on Friday. We have Exxon looking to do EPS of 261 on revenue of $85.4 billion, up 5.6, or actually, no, down 5.6. So, yeah, a lot of these energy companies, guys, they're not going to be growing or their revenues aren't going to be exploding like they were in the year before. They're slowing down. We have Exxon going down 5 five to 6% projected. I'm not sure about Chevron. Maybe we'll talk about that one more in depth tomorrow. But at this point, Exxon Mobil, we're approaching a massive resistance and we're clearly starting to break out towards that resistance. I'm not going to lie. You guys see it, right? Right about at 118, 120, uh, right where we are now. We also have an ascending triangle. We're making higher lows into that resistance. So if we do clear 120, which uh, which is where my alert's been at for quite some time, heading into earnings, which it's, it's only Monday. We can do that in the next couple of days. If we crack 120, guys, there could be a huge breakout coming for Exxon. And you guys probably know it's already pretty much at all-time highs. I think we hit it couple months ago you guys can see on the max chart yeah we hit 119 we're already at all-time highs this could be going even higher is what i'm trying to get at so with that being said i'm going to wrap up the video if you enjoyed it hit the like button make sure to subscribe and don't forget to get up to 15 stocks for moo moo 12 stocks from weebo link down below check out the patreon as well if you guys want to be a part of the discord chat you want to see my patreon portfolio you also want to get access to me throughout the day see my charts and ideas all that good stuff is on patreon down below or you guys can check out the youtube channel member membership essentially it's the same thing link down below and with that being said cheers guys check out the earlier videos from today i'll catch you there peace out